Here's how to get shaders for Minecraft 1.21.11. If this video helps you out, all I have to return is that you subscribe. Let's go! Now the first step to get shaders is to click the second link in the description, which is our quick guide on how to get iris for Minecraft. Iris is going to be the shader loader that is going to allow us to add shaders, but you don't have to read through this whole article, this is only here for those of you that get lost. If you want to go straight to the point, go down to step 1, press on iris shaders, that is going to redirect you right here, where we're going to press download universal jar, and the download for the iris installer will begin right away. And I want you to go ahead and drag and drop that file into your your desktop. Now you will notice that this is a .jar file or a Java file, meaning that you're going to need Java later on to open this file. Now, if you don't know where to get Java from, you will also find it in the description. This is Java 21. This is a requirement for installing mods for Minecraft, especially for any Minecraft above Minecraft 1.21. And of course, 1.21.11 is no exception. Now with the Iris installer in our desktop, and of course, after you install Java, which you will have this article again in the description, in case you get lost and we have videos on the channel on how to do it. Now we're ready to install shaders. First, you want to make sure you have closed your Minecraft launcher, but it is extremely important that you have played Minecraft 1.21. 21.11 at least once on your computer and you don't even have to play the game all you have to do is open it and then close it once now after you've done that and of course close your minecraft launcher we're going to go ahead and open the iris installer again if you have any issues while opening the iris installer make sure you have java 21 installed now here we're going to select 1.21.11 and we're going to hit install now while iris is installing if you need a minecraft server use the second link in the description and get 25 percent off apex hosting apex hosting has been completely redesigned and it was great before but now it's perfect and there is no better option when making your own minecraft server of course they have locations all around the world you can choose not just for minecraft you have a bunch of games in here you can make servers for you could make a server with a lot of mod packs and it's just a one-click installation for over 200 mod packs and of course there's a lot of other advantages for using apex hosting and again if you use the first link in the description you get 25 percent off and you'll be supporting the channel now after iris has finished installing it's going to say completed we're going to go ahead and close it and we could even delete iris from our desktop because we don't need it anymore now it's time to test iris out go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and of course if you guys don't have any shaders i'm going to leave you this link in the description which is our top 10 best shaders for Minecraft and they are working with 1.21.11 so if you want any shaders from this list just click on that link in the description and then just choose the shaders that you want click on the shaders name like for example Blitz shaders and then just go ahead and download the version that you want like 1.21.11 just go ahead and download it and then you should get a zip file and by the way you should get a zip file for all the shaders that you get in the future you don't have to unzip the zip file and you just have to keep it handy to add it to the game now once we open our Minecraft launcher which you have Iris and Sodium 1.21.11 selected automatically and all we have to do is hit play. You could also see here under installations, as long as modded is select. Now, once the game opens, it's super easy to use our shaders. You could launch a single player world or a multiplayer world. It doesn't matter because our shaders will be compatible with both. And if you need a multiplayer world, of course, first link in the description, get that deal with Apex Hosting. Now, once you're inside the game, you probably won't see shaders like I'm seeing right here. You're probably going to see something more like this. And I'm going to show you how to disable the shaders and enable them like I just did. Now, once you're inside the game to add shaders, press escape, head over to options, and then head over to video settings. Right here, you're going to see this menu in here, which is the sodium and iris shaders. Of course, feel free to play around with this, but if you're just trying to add shaders, all you have to do is go down here to iris, click on shader packs, and then you're going to see this menu in here. You probably won't have any shaders in here. Remember that zip file that we downloaded earlier, though? We're going to add it into here. Just go ahead and drag and drop it. You will see it appear in here, and then go ahead and select it, and then hit apply. Now, you don't have to use Blitz shaders. Those are the ones I'm using for this tutorial, but if you're using any other shaders, you're also fine. And then go back into the game and start enjoying the game with some beautiful, beautiful shaders. And like I was saying earlier, if you just want to disable the shaders real quick just press k and if you want to enable them again just press the letter k on your keyboard one more time and they will load back in but there you guys have it how to get shaders for minecraft 1.21.11 if this video helped you out don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time